guys and welcome to Thessaloniki, a beautiful city in the northern part of Greece. Check it out. I mean the holiest place for Christianity in Thessaloniki. Check it out. It is very, very beautiful. It is called the Church of Agius Demetrius, which is considered the saint of Thessaloniki. It's a very ancient building. Uh, let's go inside and see. The Church of Agius Demetrius was first built in the 4th century. It has been destroyed a few times, but most of the building we see now is from the 7th century. Allegedly, Demetrius was born in Thessaloniki in the 3rd century. He was a Roman soldier and believed in Christianity and was sent to death for that, allegedly in the place when the church stands until this day. Demetrius is the patron of Thessaloniki for Orthodox Christians. However, he is also popular in some other Orthodox countries like Serbia. As I said, allegedly Demetrius died here. Since he has no grave, this small building, white building inside the church is considered to be his memorial. Thessaloniki was conquered again and again and the church was destroyed a few times by fire, by war and by earthquakes. In 1917, there was a big fire who destroyed a lot of Thessaloniki. After that, the church was renovated one last time in the 30s. Thessaloniki is a very ancient city. It was formed in the 3rd century. Before that, it was a small city called Therma from the 7th century BC. Thessaloniki was conquered again and again by different empires and for a very long time it was under the Ottoman Empire. Through long parts of history this church was actually a mosque and you can still see some mosaic from this time. Thessaloniki is a very important port city and through history it had a very different population. For a very long time the majority of population was actually Jewish. Of course the Jewish community was destroyed in the Holocaust. The church stands today before it used to be a Roman bathhouse. By the legend, Demetrius was sent to death in a water well inside the bathhouse. Until these days, you can still see the remains of the Roman bathhouse under the church. One of the things I really like about Greece is the buildings are really nice and usually covered with a lot of beautiful stones in many different colors. Quite beautiful and this style is quite unique for Greece. And here we can see the beginning of the ancient Roman bath under the church. As you can see, it's much more ancient than the actual church above it. Thessaloniki is named after the queen Thessalonica. Her name actually was given to her by her father after winning the battle over Thessalia, which is the name of a place, and Nica means a victory. Therefore, Thessalonica. Thessalonica was the sister of great Alexander. Overall, the church of Agius Demetrius is really nice and ancient, and I recommend you to go visit it. However, since my favorite religion is music, techno, and parties, I had to go and visit some clubs. Over the last few years, I've been to a few bars and clubs in Thessaloniki, but for sure my favorite one is this one called Enola. It's actually a gay club and a dance bar. Say so I'ma do this every day. I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave. Six feet deep, wonder, but my body won't decay. Cause my messages are timeless, so they put them on the to Enola cost a few euros and you will get one drink for free. Of course, I will put in the video description a link to Enola's Google Maps. It's a bit hard to find the entrance, but be persistent and you will find it. Quite impressive that in a very small city and a very conservative city, there is a very strong gay and queer community. I really admire all those queer people walking around Thessaloniki looking very queer, they're very brave. One of the things I like about Enola and the gay nightlife scene in general is the strong sense of freedom and connection to community. That's it for today guys, go visit a gay bar, go visit a church, go do them both, and I will see you in the next one, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!